uh, guys and gals. It's uh, May 22nd, 2008. I'm Matt Brookline. This is history. This is my line. Uh, let's get straight going. I think I'm going to, well, first off, I, actually, we're not going to get straight going. I want to talk for a second. Um, I'm thinking that I might not do as much news as I was doing before because, I don't know, I, it's just, I, I'll do news when I want to, but I'm not going to, I've decided I'm not going to limit myself to my three sections. I'll just do whatever I want. Uh, I will always do history, today in history, and I'll always try to do birthdays unless there's absolutely no one important born. But that's not been the case so far. Anyway, so, history, I mean, news, I may uh, drift away from because, I don't know, there are people that do news, you can get your news, I mean, I'll give you some, yeah, I'll just, never mind, I'll do whatever I want, I'll give news, news is yours, uh, the ban um, bandana was approved, <laughs> and, uh, or, unless, do you think I should go with a hood and a bandana, would that be better, I don't know, uh, and another thing about the news is I'm still caught up in that book, so I'm not exactly paying the best attention to the news. So, uh, yeah, I've been kayaking a lot, so I'm a little bit darker. I don't know if you can tell or not. I don't watch my own videos or anything like that, so I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, anyway, so we'll get going, finally. Uh, 18F7, uh, the grand jury indict, indicted Aaron Burr, uh, accused him of treason. Because he was trying to become the king or emperor of Louisiana, where we had the Louisiana Purchase. So he had a uh, force of 200 men trying to take over. And uh, he was also, I mean, I hate the guy because my, one of my favorite historical figures is Alexander Hamilton. And he killed Alexander Hamilton. So I hate him. Um, and 1842, uh, Howe Caverns in uh, New York were discovered by a pair of farmers who just fell into the hole. Um, I'm a big fan of geology, so that's why that matters to me. Uh, the Great Migra in, uh, uh, 1843, the Great Migration began, which was uh, a lot of us may know as the Oregon Trail. It was the people have been going out to Oregon for a while, but this is what really started the big move. So this is when lots of people started moving. Um, 1848 in uh, the island of Martinique. So it's down there. If the map was superimposed on me, down there. Uh, it used to be owned by Spain, it had been owned by France, it been owned by England. Anyway, um, they finally, or they finally, they abolished slavery, uh, and then they had in people from India and China to come in and work their sugar cane fields. Um, doing essentially what America did, we're moving from slavery to uh, tenant farmers, which are barely above slaves. Uh, 1856, the, uh, okay, if you know about the bleeding of Kansas, which was where there was a, a lot of violence in Kansas, uh, pro-slavery violence, and they were fighting for which state would become slavery. They had votes for who would become slave versus not slave. And uh, in 1856, uh, a man named Charles Sumner gave a speech in the Senate uh, opposed to the... Uh, talking, attacking the Southern, Southerners who were attacking the pro, for pro-slavery. So the pro-slavery fighters. And um, Preston Brooks uh, from South Carolina beat Charles Sumner down in the halls of the Senate today uh, in 1856. Uh, and then 1906, uh, the Olympics in Athens, the uh, it was, so I guess it would be called the Three and a Half Olympics. Uh, they don't count because they're in between two real Olympics, and so they're not a real Olympiad. They got medals, but the IOC doesn't acknowledge them. Uh, 1906, also 1906, the uh, the Wright brothers received their patent for their flying machine, so that's important. Uh, 1915, um, the uh, Lassen Peak in uh, in America. I don't remember where it is exactly. I forgot. I I don't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, it was it erupted, and it was one of two in the 19 or 20th century volcanoes in America. If you can name the other one, you get a prize. Anybody? Anybody ideas? 20th century American volcanoes. It's kind of famous. Uh, 1947, the Truman Doctrine was signed, uh, allowing America to do what it needed to do to fight communism, which, I mean, you know, uh, the, the philosophy is that you just need to, if nothing comes in, the philosophy can't sustain itself, that it'll eventually kill itself, as long as there are no new communist countries, so the, just stopping the growth was the important thing. Um, but 
I guess, well, the thing is, that there's no true communism out there, so it's hard to say whether or not they succeeded, because there are more totalitarian dictatorships and they, under the facade of communism. But that's beside the point. Uh, in 1962, uh, Continental Flight 11, uh, there was a bomb aboard, and it, it went down. Um, a lot of times, this kind of reminded me, because Continental Flight 11 doesn't sound that bad, but whenever I get, uh, whenever I'm flying somewhere, I always think about the flight number, and if it sounds like how it would sound if they were like, flight, whatever, went down, but they never sound bad to me in my head ahead of time, but then, maybe once it's gone down, then you, yeah. Uh, in 1968, along the same lines, uh, the USS Scorpion, a nuclear submarine, uh, went down off the coast of Azores, and, uh, 99 men were lost. Uh, 1972, Ceylon, uh, had it, wrote its, wrote its, signed its constitution, and, uh, became a republic, uh, also known now as Sri Lanka, and it joined the Commonwealth of Nations. In 1990, Northern and Southern Yemen united into Yemen. Uh, 1992 was the last episode of the Johnny Carson show. So, the Tonight Show, hosted by Johnny Carson. Uh, in 2002, um... If you remember, I remember this from, a, I mean, obviously, a few years ago, but that, uh, the whole Chandra Levy thing, that the missing person, that was her body was discovered in Washington, D.C., and that was today. Uh, and then, skip forward to 2003, today was the day in Fort Worth, Texas, just a little bit north up the road, it was the day that uh, Annika Sorenstam competed in the, uh, uh, the Byron, no, the, I don't remember, the Colonial, I think the Colonial, which is, I think, Byron Nelson. Anyway, um... She was the first woman in 58 years to compete in a PGA Tour event. Uh, and then, uh, birthdays. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, famous for writing the Sherlock Holmes series. Yves Rocard, who is a, a French physicist who worked intensely on the uh, atomic bomb project. And Laurence Olivier. Uh, Morrissey, if you know who Morrissey is, kudos to you. Uh, we should be friends. Uh, Naomi Campbell and Apollo Anton Ono, and I'm a huge fan of the Olympics, so that's a big deal to me. I'm going to start training to kayak in the Olympics. Um, well, on a side note, one death, because he's well, another one of my favorite historical figures, was Constantine the Great, founder of Constantinople, bringer of Christianity to the Roman Empire. Um, and now, as I said, I wasn't going to do too much news today, but there is one thing that I'm excited about, because I'm excited that the other thing didn't happen. David Cook, congratulations on the, uh, the American Idol victory. I'm so happy it wasn't David Archuleta. I cannot express how happy I am. I thought, I really, at the beginning of the season, I wanted it to be Michael Johns and David Cook in the final, or that Carly or Brooke. Those are my favorite four. And uh, David Cook, you were amazing. You, I mean, I don't, you were awesome. You rock. I can totally see. I'll buy your album. I, I'm committing right now. I'll buy it. That was me signing the uh, credit card bill. Anyway, um, no, oh, no, oh, not done. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, fave, and by all means, tell your friends to watch too.